Infertility is one kind of disorder or disease, if you want, which is bringing a lot of problems because a couple which cannot have babies usually get in all kinds of emotional stress and uh, uh, this is not a nice life to live. I um, will give you the, the basics of the treatment, uh, the principles, the rules and also several practical tips. But uh, um, it will be a good idea to, to buy a book like this. This one is in French, but it will come also the English version of it, where I have a, a chapter, a complete chapter with all the details on how to treat the infertility. So I'll give you the, the best uh, hints to, to get on the right track. Let's speak first of all about the causes of infertility, why the people are having infertility. So it can be problems at the level of the man, so some people they say that 60% of the causes of infertility is because of the problems in the man, like not enough spermatozoids, or the spermatozoids are too weak, or both of them, not enough and too weak, are not moving. Uh, the, uh, also, uh, you need to go to the causes, why the spermatozoids are too weak, why there are dynamic problems. So, uh, all the causes in the case of the man should be addressed. One of the main causes is the excessive stress and also smoking or alcoholism because this will affect the whole system, the immune system and so on and so on. Um, also obesity can be a bad factor and also the excessive use of sweets. Normally the ladies are taking more sweets but also sometimes the, the men are taking so too much sweets and sugar is one, one substance which blocks the, the power of the genital system. Now. Uh, another uh, cause is depression, uh, too much coldness, uh, very bad blood flow in the hands and on this area, uh, not enough functioning of the liver. But uh, this is uh, the, the main, the, if you want to put just your finger on the main cause of all these uh, problems, uh, the main cause is the uh, presence of cold or not enough heat in the genital area, all this lumbar area and genital area. And this happens especially to the ladies. So they have from their childhood or adolescence, when they are teenagers, they have cold feet, cold hands, and uh, practically this cold feet, uh, the cold comes also through the meridians on the genital area. And then they have all kind of uh, blockades there. They have um, uh, leucorrhea, so discharge of the mucus and liquids and uh, constantly, so when they have the, this area from the ovaries to the uterus is blocked, these tubes, uh, fallopian tubes, then the spermatozoid cannot penetrate and fecundate the ovule where is the best place. So, uh, the cold is the main problem. Now, uh, the ladies, these ladies and the couples, they are going and they are spending thousands of dollars in all kinds of fertility clinics but very seldom they can get a real good healthy pregnancy because if the coldness here in this area is not eliminated that ovule which goes into an egg and it starts to develop it will stay in an area which is not proper so too much cold too much mucus and then the local immune system is weak and not enough oxygen and so on and so on so the fetus will get problems in the uterus of the mother or later it's much higher so we should address in this situation uh, infertility, which can be, bring problem in both men and women, in the couple. And then we should all of these causes of the causes neutralize, eliminate in a very, very disciplined manner. Of course, you can think that um, uh, this coldness in the genital area can be eliminated just by applying the heat. Uh, the heat, uh, you can do it with massage, you can go to the sauna, you can make calisthenics, gymnastics, exercise or you can warm up the feet by acupressure, massage and so on and so on. But this heat which is obtained usually does not last longer. So the main cause here is that the nervous system, the nerves which are going out from the roots here in the lumbar area, they are just uh, lazy, they are insufficient, they are not working properly. So they do not feel that this area in the feet are cold, the sensorial part of the nerves are not working properly. So, because the information coldness is not coming to the nervous system, then the nervous system does not correct the situation. Let's imagine sometimes we, we get cold from outside and then we get chills. 
chill brain, like chills like this. So you start to, to tremble like this because the nervous system says, oh, it's too cold, let's warm up. So the muscles start to, to become very tense and they, they, they contract very fast. So the result of this, the heat is coming. Yeah? But in this situation, it's a very slow induced cold. The nervous system gets used to it from the childhood or teenager time. So the ladies, they, they don't realize that they are cold in this area. But a very simple way to, take, to make the diagnostic of this situation, you just, uh, the husband can use the hand and can go on the back from the neck area and feeling the heat of the skin. So it will be like here between the shoulder blades, it's warm, 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 nice. And when they come here to the buttocks area, it will be like from here to here, a huge difference in temperature. Like here is warm and here very cold. So uh, if this is the case, then all the treatment, all the treatment protocol should be focused on getting back the heat. And this, it, de it depends to be long lasting effect on the stimulation of the local nerves. In apitherapy, we have the best method is to use B-Venom. And there are also B-Venom creams you find in good health food stores. And this B-Venom cream is applied on the acupuncture points, the painful one, when you, when you press on the lumbar area and you see where it is painful, then you apply the cream and make massage. But uh, better than the cream is to use, to speak with an apitherapist, a well-specialized apitherapist. Uh, he or she can do micro bee stings or even stings uh, on these acupuncture points to activate the local nerves. And once the local nerves are activated or reactivated, they will correct this uh, temperature problem. So they'll open, they give the order for opening of the blood vessels. So this area will be warm and the feet will become again warm, but stable, like this uh, warm feet will be uh, constant, not one day yes, one day no. So it will be constantly warm. And once the warmth is rich, warmness is rich here, it means that the blood flow comes well. Then we need to take care on the quality of the blood. What, how is the blood coming with this genital area? So basically, the blood must be very clean, must be very rich in vitamins, very rich in nutrients, but also very rich in substances which are protecting against the bacteria, the viruses, the fungus, even parasites can be in the genital system. So to fight against all these things, and of course the blood must be as warm as possible. With the help of an acupuncturist, uh, the acupuncturist will diagnose the uh, in, in energetical disbalance and will, will tell you what are the meridians which are affected, what are the best acupuncture points. And these acupuncture points then you can stimulate also at your own home, you have your own methods. One of the methods is just apply a bit of honey on the acupuncture point and then you, you do this kind of local micro massage for at least three, five, seven minutes. And after three, five, seven minutes, even if, even if it looks like very, very boring, but after three, five minutes, the skin will start to be red. So when it's red, it's like you use in acupuncture moxa or heat on the acupuncture point, and this can help also. Now, uh, another very important thing is that once you open the blood flow, you should wait, uh, the couple should wait at least three months uh, and not make the big love to get the baby as soon as possible. No, the body must be clean and retonified, regenerated at least for three months to get new cells, new tissues uh, on the uterus, mucosa and ovaries and everything in the body must be regenerated as, as best as possible. So one of the, the advice uh, from the specialists in the, this uh, infertility problems in Asia, I learned about this in Taiwan in 2002, is to tell the couple to make no love, no sex for three months, uh, ideally, to abstain from making sex. And then in all this time, they, they take care about their own health. They do everything which is good for the health. Exercise, good diet, a lot of sleep, and so on and so on. And after these three months, they can make again sexual intercourse. And then they should do this, ideally, in the middle of the uh, menstrual cycle. Usually it's about the day number 14, from beginning to, to the end. And then uh, once they get the, they got the fertility, like the ladies after two weeks does not have any more the uh, normal uh, menstruation, uh, then it's a sign that possible the, the egg has uh, got uh, inside the mucosa of the uterus and then maybe the baby is there present.
So, very, very important is during all this period of time, these three months, and then after making the love and uh, afterwards, the man must behave with the lady like, uh, like something extremely precious. So protecting her very well, uh, no stress from outside, no stress from the man itself. So basically uh, it must be like a huge love and huge protection for the life to be able to come and to develop in the uterus of the lady. So uh, also the, the physical stress like uh, walking on the street with um, shoes which are very rigid, the ones which are making the noise, it's not a good idea. And um, keeping always the warmness in this area on the feet and all over the body. And um, uh, what can uh, be done also from the soft bee products uh, uh, part, so besides the bee venom locally here, the both couple should take a lot of honey, honey du honey, which is very good for this. Also, uh, rape honey can be good here, eucalyptus honey or thyme honey can help, small amounts, to warm up the body. The body. And then, besides the honey, we have propolis, and there are propolis in tincture form, uh, which can take, be taken orally. So propolis tincture like one, two, three this, uh, drops per every kilogram body weight from the body, okay, in 24 hours. And then there are also propolis in form of Brazilian propolis. In case uh, the lady or the man, they have too much coldness, too much wetness, too much mucus, the ladies in the genital part or the man in the nose, too much mucus in the body, then Brazilian propolis which is made from Baccaris dracunculifolia is very good because it's very spicy and spicy dries uh, the body. Okay, then there are also propolis very very strong like highly concentrated which can be applied locally. There is one gynecologist from Egypt which has very good results by using royal jelly and honey and propolis on the genital system. Uh, it is inserted in the vagina before the intercourse and this helps also locally the bee products. Then we have for the mouth, there are all kinds of medicinal plants and also products. They are combinations included with apilarnil. Apilarnil are the drone larvae, drone larvae extracts, which are very, very good for the men. Practically, uh, drone larvae, uh, this apilarnil, it's like an api viagra, which has this effect of, uh, for the sexual uh, power of the man. But it's in a soft way, it's an uh, aphrodisiac, but a soft one but it's a deeper one after about one, two weeks of taking. Okay, so there are also on the market all kind of uh, vials which have combinations of ginseng, royal jelly, uh, honey, propolis and so on. Uh, basically, uh, ideally is to use also a lot of vitamin C, vitamin C like from rose hips, can be used too. And it's a good idea to speak also with the nutritionist and nutritionists can make the, the blood analysis and all the analysis that are needed to see what vitamins or nutrients are missing, then the, this can be corrected through a very good healthy diet. And uh, the diet should be a bit more spicy than usually, less sweet and enough salt. The best salt is um, sea salt or like Himalaya salt, but really from the mountains, from the caves. Uh, salt which is multi-mineral is better than uh, refined salt, yeah? So if the diet is like this, if the tongue becomes red, not whitish, when it's whitish means coldness inside the body, so the tongue becomes red, constantly red, and the breathing is good and the sleeping is good, remember that the sleeping, it helps the anabolism, so regeneration, repairs, which are done during the night. So the uterus in this case needs a lot of such time for regeneration, relaxation, so no stress during the day. Another thing very important for the ladies, um, they have usually in the first two, one to three, four months of the pregnancy, they have a bigger appetite for sour foods. Why sour? Because sour, it is known for thousands of years in Chinese medicine, sour helps the liver, cleans the liver of fats, toxins and so on. And the liver, a stronger liver, is very, very important because the liver gives the nutrients to the uterus through the placenta. So the baby inside can get a lot of good foods thanks to the liver. So anything which helps the liver is good. And usually sour foods, a bit of lemon juice, grapefruit, uh, kiwi, and so on and so on, uh, which uh, fruits or vegetables which are a bit sour are helping the situation. And from api therapy, the best product is bee pollen. So fresh bee pollen, at least 60 to 80 grams a day 
Propolis tincture, one, two, three, two, even five if it's an infection there of propolis tincture during the day also raw propolis can be taken like three, five grams a day. Royal jelly for the ladies at least 10, 15 milliliter per day, like split in several smaller doses. For the men, as I said, apilar nil is the best, three, five, 10 milliliter per day. Okay, so we've got the honey, the propolis, the royal jelly, the apilar nil, and the pollen. Also bee bread can be taken like 10, 15 grams a day. So all this combination, taking care of, of the heat here, taking care of the uh, nervous system, stimulating the acupuncture points, Slowly, slowly, it will regenerate the body and it will allow a very good and very healthy pregnancy.